Hi, welcome back to another vlog. It's actually currently Sunday and you might be thinking, Zoe, you've got your makeup done, you've bothered to do your hair. What's happening on this fine Sunday? I can tell you not a lot, it's just that my child has decided to give me a really good nap today. <laughs> so I have taken every opportunity I can to feel a little more myself. We are actually doing something quite nice this afternoon, which I will bring you along to. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna film, but I'm gonna bring my camera along because it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'm just excited to get out of the house, if I'm honest. This house has been an ill house for the last week. Alfie's got tonsillitis, which I think, I don't know, can you catch tonsillitis? I actually don't know enough about it. It's not something that's spreadable, right? <laughs> I need to know like the science behind tonsillitis because I don't think you can catch tonsillitis, but you can catch what caused someone to have it. I don't know. Otty had a cold and a cough and then Alfie got tonsillitis and then I caught Otty's cold. So we've been, um, pretty out of action <laughs> this last week and I am only just now starting to feel a little bit better and we're gonna go and meet I say we me and Ottie I think Alfie's still man down <laughs> Alfie's still not great tonsillitis is really savage um and actually what's so strange is obviously I've been with Alfie now for like 11 years this year he's never once had tonsillitis yet he's had it twice in the last like three and a half months which is wild, so there's, pff, his body is really giving him some slack right now. So myself and Ottie are jumping in the car and we're gonna drive over to Sheffield Park, which we have been to quite a few times. I don't know if I've ever vlogged going there, I must have at some point. And we're just gonna get a bit of fresh air, go on a walk, we're gonna meet um, Amanda and Nick and Poppy and Sean there. And it's just gonna be a really nice chilled afternoon. And also Ottie is now at an age where going on a walk doesn't just mean pushing a pushchair, it actually means holding her hand and her wanting to walk, which does slow the group down considerably, but it is just one of those things that really makes my heart hurt with happiness because she's so, so good at holding hands because she understands that if she was to let go, she might fall. She's like at that age where she's like, she'll hold her hand out so that we take it if she can see some like unsteady ground or a slope, which is very, very cute. And I, yeah, I just, I really enjoy going on a walk with Ottie and holding her hand. I don't care that it's like one mile an hour. <laughs> I don't care that we don't really get very far and we end up turning around and coming back quite swiftly. Um, it's just very, very cute. Anyway, we're gonna head and I will see you at Sheffield Park. Wow. Otty, Otty, look what Nanny's got. <gasps> Whee! Wow. wow. <laughs> Good afternoon. Otty, do you want to come and see what mummy's for? Yeah, didn't film too much in Sheffield Park yesterday, as you saw. What's this? If this is what I think it is, I thought it would deserve an unboxing. Whoa, what's it gonna be? So it's from eBay. <laughs> Alfie's also off camera. He doesn't know what I've ordered. <laughs> Have a guess. Have a guess. I actually never owned this, but my cousin did. Oh my goodness. Thanks for your purchase. I hope she brings you as much fun and happiness. She brought my daughter. Baby. Guys, I bought a baby all gone. <laughs> Poppy, I'm pretty sure Poppy had one of those. I think she might have. We well, dipped the spoon. Baby! The spoon. Yeah, the cherries in the spoon. Yes. Look, Otty. <gasps> Give it to baby. That's it. <gasps> Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Put it in. 
Considering this is from the 90s. I hope she brings you as much fun and happiness as she brought my daughter. I think I think it's the sentimental person in me that's like, it might have really taken quite a lot to sell that <laughs> because something that brings Ottie so much happiness, I just want to hold on to it forever. Even though they obviously grow out of things and you know, other kids can then love them and play with them. But there is like the sentimental person in me that's like, I wonder if it brings her joy to know that you've got it now. She's definitely getting a fair share of cherries, that's for sure. So she's not gonna go hungry, is she? Yeah, here you go. I'm also imagining her daughter is probably around my age. <laughs> I'm assuming, like, I don't think you can buy these. No. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and that it gave you all the memories <laughs> and the nostalgia um but yeah as i said i actually didn't own this but my cousin did my cousin had this doll good morning everyone i've just done my morning skincare washed my face toned i've actually got a little bit of um face fake tan on don't know if you can tell <laughs> i don't know if i love the one i've used i'm not gonna lie but i do like that i don't feel as pale i like that so this part of my video is kindly sponsored by Drunk Elephant. In particular, these next two products that I am going to use and share with you are firm, solid, everyday parts of my skincare routine. One of them is a brand new product, which I will get more onto. But the first one is this, which I have two of because this was my little travel sized one that I had and I have used all of this up. So I ordered a um, actual full size of this. Now I know that a lot of people also really love this product and I can totally see why. It's definitely up there with one of my favorite serums I've ever used. My skin loves this. It's the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum quench and illuminate and i just feel like that basically sums up everything i love about it so there it is i'm just gonna pop this on i think especially this time of year my skin just needs quenching essentially and i just feel like this serum does that i also think one of my other favorite things about it is that it sinks in really quickly my moisturizer goes on top of it really well i don't know i just love this firm staple firm firm staple right. next product i'm very excited to share with you is actually a product i have been testing for months this is my like tester bottle because they didn't have the product in the packaging yet <laughs> but i have tested there is nothing left in this i scraped the bottle let me tell you now i finally have it in 
its packaging glory. So this is new from Drunk Elephant. It is exclusive to Space NK and it is the Bouncy Bright Facial Mask Illuminator correct and clarify it has 10 percent azelaic acid one percent salicylic acid triple antioxidant brightening complex this is the product of my dreams like if i had to fill out a form that detailed what my skin was like and what my skin needed this is the product that would probably come up for me so if you've been here a while then you'll kind of know what my skin type is like i'm basically combination however if i have a hormonal breakout which i do most months here's one my main not issue with my skin but i would say the thing that i most look for in skincare products is something to combat redness and post hormonal breakout marks and like to fade redness and fade like dark spots and to basically try and get a much more even skin tone that is my skincare goal the majority of the time and this does exactly that it's a leave-on mask so you can put this on in the morning or at night kind of as the last step in your skincare before spf so that's what i've been doing i've been mostly using this at night and alternating this and my other moisturizer kind of like every other day in the morning here here my cheeks i feel like i've already noticed such a difference in the evenness of my skin tone and my complexion i mean this hormonal breakout <laughs> this isn't fun but you'll see over the next couple of vlogs how much quicker this will disappear because of this it's almost like drunk elephant <laughs> designed this specifically for my skin uneven tone fades stubborn spots reduces the look of redness revealing a brighter bouncier more even complexion yes 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 tick 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 you can also mix this in with your serum or your moisturizer if you prefer so i just do two or three pumps there we go so if that sounds like a bit of you and your skin is similar to mine or you're kind of looking for those benefits as part of your skincare routine then definitely check it out i'll leave a link down below but yeah as i said these two are cemented in my skincare routine right now now in terms of makeup i don't want to do a lot today i just don't I think i'm just gonna stick to my cc cream of makeup i've actually gone very simple today it's the weekend i don't think we're going anywhere we are seeing some friends but it's very like low-key chilled i think i'm gonna do some baking with otty later i say baking we're gonna make tiffin there's no baking involved in that mixing and refrigerating um so i've kept it very quick very cash this is basically like my five minute makeup at the moment we have the it cosmetics cc nude glow the Vive Concealer, the Chanel Soleil Tan Bronze Universal, and then I used the Rare Beauty Hope Blush, the Rare Beauty Mesmerize Liquid Highlighter, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade on my eyebrows, Hourglass Unlocked Mascara, mm. and then just a lip oil on my lips. This is the Jouer Natural Shine Lip Oil because my lips are dry right now. So there you have it, that is my weekend skin and face. Oh, thank you, my squash, merci. It's a little bit later, Otty's down for a nap and I'm about to tuck into some Connie the Caterpillar, which I'm very excited about, ever the nutritional lunch. <laughs> and I actually have two packages that i was going to open with you guys i basically did a bit of a new year haul i've moved you because this is much better light than sat down there i was like do you know what i'm gonna order some new things for my wardrobe and for otty's wardrobe to be fair so i did an m s clothing shop and a Cezanne shop so I thought I would open those packages with you. First up is M&S. Now there's definitely 
more cute bits in here for Ottie than for me. I feel like, have I said this previously? <laughs> M&S basically do my favourite um, bodysuits. I still put Ottie in bodysuits, especially because it's winter and I just want her to have like an extra warm layer. Um, so I'm still buying bodysuits. This is the size 18 to 24. I can't even get my head around the fact that I once had a like naught to three, naught to one tiny baby. And now she's in 18 to 24. Well, she will be. <laughs> this is like the next one up. Look how much bigger that is. It just blows my mind. Yeah, these are my favorites. They wash well, they're extremely soft and I just find the poppers easy and they're just my favorite ones. So the m and it's like a pack of, pack of seven. These are the ones that I have bought since Ottie was like a tiny, tiny baby. But yeah, she's gonna be 18 months at the end of this month. I know. And then they had some really cute like Eastery things. So I got this jumper that says smile. And then they had these which I thought were quite nice for like spring and Easter. Little purple leggings with flowers on. <gasps> they had this, it says m and baby. I guess she's, is she still a baby? I don't know, 18 to 24. And it's this really cute ruffled collar t-shirt, a little pair of tights, and then this like duck egg blue minty kind of cord dress with little flowers on i just thought that was very very cute with the tights and some little boots when spring comes around oh my god i forgot i ordered this otty is very much an happiest when outdoors child she just loves being outside come rain or shine snow or sun she is like get me outside so she has a lot of like coats or she does have like this kind of like um two-piece waterproof set from lightwood which i absolutely love but she is not growing out of it but like i don't think she's got much wear in that left um and these i just find super easy when she's like desperate to get outside and i don't have time to like clip the trousers on and like do the thingy up an all-in-one just over whatever outfit she's already got on with a little bit of warmth a little like fluffy layer is perfect now you've seen she's got her little ducky one but that is now sadly too small it just about fits if she was to like stay upright but the minute she starts trying to climb or like run it's a bit tight on her legs so she gets a bit restricted so i've gone next size up and i decided to get this one i just thought for spring that that was perfect also this is very cute but MS have this which says MS the maritime originals and it says please pass me down and there's like three places for three different names so like once otty's grown out of it i can pass it on to somebody else who might want it and they can put their name in it very cute concept cream leggings with little flowers on basically I'm excited for spring guys, <laughs> bring it on. Oh, this is so cute. Also got her this cardigan, this little yellow cardigan with a bumblebee hood. <laughs> How cute is that? Then I saw this coat and I thought, do you know what? Yes, it's a bit more on the spenny side, but I want a jacket when I go on a dog walk that I feel warm, waterproof, just in my own little cocoon. And I do have, like, don't get me wrong, I do have coats. Like, though, I didn't need this. I just wanted it. I saw it and I wanted it, okay? <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Like, it is, like, cosy lined. It's this really lovely, like, dark khaki green. It's long. I'm just going to try this on, you know. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I don't think a coat has ever made me this excited. Like a practical coat. I love it. I love it. This is a, a, this is a great purchase. Well done, Zoe. Waterproof outer recycled fleece inner exploring coat. 
sea salt cornwall rain made with tide cycle recycled fully fully waterproof internal zip pocket to keep your valuables secure designed to defy the most torrential cornish downpours the outer coat features are specially developed waterproof and breathable coating perfect i'm very happy with that that is all of my ms purchases now moving on to suzanne got a little little magazine this is quite basic but i love it it's just a like three quarter length t-shirt with lots of little brown buttons down the front i might do a little try on should i do a try on and then this is a this looks quite big but maybe it's meant to be quite oversized um t-shirt with buttons i just thought for spring that might be quite nice like tucked into things this jumper screams it's still winter but i'm excited for spring i love it this jumper i also really liked it's just a stripy balloon sleeve with the little buttons down the front again now i did get some suzanne bottoms i think i might have got did i get two pairs of trousers oh i think i got three pairs of trousers okay and i have to say usually with suzanne um i'm a bit short for the length of their trousers i'm five foot four and i feel like maybe if you're five 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 six it's like perfect so we'll see like long <laughs> long um so we will see how these look on me but i think i went for some like high-waisted because then at least you can like pull them up a bit more merino blue denim those were the high-waisted i just really loved those it's kind of a bit of a 70s style with a belt i thought they were really lovely and those are the um lucas trousers in bronze a little bit more like floaty and then these oh well, these ones are the tommy tommy jeans and these again are high-waisted i think but they've got buttons like up the middle i got this cardigan which now i'm looking at it i actually don't know if i like this very pretty i just don't know I bet the model looked amazing and I just thought, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> and then this is just like a classic, a classic just beige, kind of cropped. Not really cropped, but like I wanted one that I could tuck in that wasn't going to be have like loads of excess fabric. Jumper. Right. Shall I try on? Shall I try some of this on? Okay, these are the first pair of jeans. I actually really like them. I think they fit me really well, but like I said, quite long. <laughs> I don't know if you can see my feet. Um, if I go on my tiptoes, perfect. So if I was wearing heels, I suppose, it would look much better. But yeah, I actually think, I think they fit me really nicely, like round here. It's just the length. They're very comfortable. I love this t-shirt, so I'm happy with that. Um, I love the jeans. I might just have to see if my mum can take them up. <laughs> if I was just a couple of inches taller, I would be fine. <laughs> I have to say, getting in and out of these, though, was a little bit more tricky. Oh, uh, okay. Right, next pair of trousers. Top. It's okay. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just think it's okay. Maybe it kind of depends what I'm wearing it with. Maybe it would look nicer with like a skirt or I don't know. Maybe I don't really wear many like low <laughs> neckline tops. So I, when I look at this, I'm a bit like, I might send that back. I'm not fast. The jeans though, love these. They are quite similar to the ones before, but I feel like these fit, it's like a tighter fit still too long the only thing i will say is these are the exact same size as the pair i had on before but they are much tighter i don't think i could wear these out to dinner and these are the sorts of jeans that i think i would get home and like unbutton and be like oh my god 
because they're like high-waisted tight okay these trousers are like 10 10 comfortable these are amazing again too long <laughs> but amazing jumper i also love i might leave this on i love it i don't know whether these actually really go together that well maybe they do okay this is the beige knit not that i need any more beige knits in my wardrobe but oh my god i love it i like the drop shoulder nice no <laughs> no what's this no it's no for that one i think let's try and make it work i don't know that the shape is all that i don't know that if this shape is quite right it just looks a bit odd what do you think it doesn't look an odd shape when i hold it like this and then i put my original jeans back on with this jumper and i like it I think this is very cute. Yeah, I like this. This uh, this I'm going to keep. Okay, well, I think overall that was very successful. I hope you enjoyed my little haul and try on. Um, I think I'm going to pop this back on, actually, because I like it. I have to get a little top to go underneath. Does anybody else with a toddler spend an annoyingly large part of the day hunting down the remote? <laughs> or just anything like i feel like i open a cupboard and there's like the most random things inside she just loves taking things running off of them putting them somewhere that alfie and i then have to try and find where she's put it like right now i've been searching for the remote for like five minutes and it is not in this room so i have no idea where that is and i was really hoping <laughs> finish off my Colin or my Connie actually um with a bit of the circle because there's a new series of the circle on Netflix I love it it's probably up there with one of my favorite reality tv programs I just think it's so clever so yeah I think I'm on like episode three and I was like oh I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna finish my Connie don't know where the remote is and now he's filming in the kitchen so I'm not gonna go through there and like start rummaging around in the background of his video looking for the remote <laughs> I found it. It was under Nala's dog bed. Of course. Of course it was. Can you do this one? <laughs> don't eat any of those, okay? Okay, don't eat any of those. Okay, don't eat any of those either. Don't eat okay. any of those, okay? You don't okay? eat them, okay? Let's just see if we can, if we can leave them there. <laughs> wow. We're not gonna eat it, are oh. we? We're not gonna eat it, are we? You can have it. You can have it. Go eat it quick. That was actually she was very restrained there. Oh, uh okay. <laughs> wow, pop it back. We're gonna put it inside our baking, aren't we? You join us in the kitchen. It's a little bit later on, isn't it? We've seen lots of friends today and we are making some Rocky Road slash Tiffin. I actually don't know the difference between the two. Um, Otty's just eating all the marshmallows whilst we wait for the chocolate to melt. I'm not gonna lie, today I've literally just got anything out of the cupboard that I had. I've not really measured anything. I know that I've got about 110 grams of dark chocolate, 110 grams of milk chocolate, and 100 grams of butter, but I don't think I'm gonna need to use the full amount of butter. I think I might just do about 80 grams of butter and I'm gonna mix that all in mm. and then we've got some mini marshmallows, some Maltesers, some malted milks and some dark chocolate digestives which I'm gonna throw in as well. So hopefully 
we'll get some sort of rocky road out of it. I thought I would melt the chocolate because that's a little bit dangerous, isn't it? Ooh. Are you almost ready to mix, Otty? There we go, mixy mix. That is looking very good. Right, Mummy's going to tip this away and then put some butter in. And then that should be enough. Where are you going? Let's pour that in there. It's quite hot, so we don't touch it. Oh dear. Yeah, we have to be very careful. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Up you get. Can you put the biscuits in? Put that one in here. Four. Pop them in. Five. What about one of those? In it goes. Thank you. And some more. Pop some more in. Lovely. Clever girl. We could be here a while. That's it. Clever girl, this one. Pop them in there. Good girl, and that one. Mummy might just take a few more out of here. We want a few whole ones, don't we? With this, that's it. Here we go. Can you do that? Easier. You do that? Yay! Mummy, do it. Do you want the small one? You do it with both. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! And then we need to mix it. Mix it, you mix it with this one because we've put your, ma your math spin on these ones, hasn't it? So we need to be a little bit hygienic. Wow. <gasps> mix it up. <gasps> Yay. You want mummy to help? Uh, no. It's quite sticky, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> Ooh, keep it in the bowl. Wow. I think that was intentional. Mummy, give it a little mix. There we go. Should we put some marshmallows in now? Yeah? You help Mummy put them in? Put them in there. Oh. Oopsie. Oh. We put them in the bowl? Wow. In the bowl, good girl. Okay, they've got to go in the bowl, Otty. Pop it in the bowl. Okay, mummy do it then. Let's mix these ones in. Dab, 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 dab. Oh, oh. Wow. Mm. <laughs> there we go. I think that looks perfect. I think you've done an amazing job. Well done. High five. Boom. Boom. Mummy, just give that one big glass mix. And then, right, pop that in there. Good girl, you leave that there. Oh. Then we do this, look. Mummy, do this bit, because it can be a bit messy. Pop it in here. No, 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 no. No? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is going in here. This is this is gonna go in the fridge. You can have some later. Otterly. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Did that bit just fall out, did it? Not gonna lie. Not sure these are the most hygienic to give to anyone that, that isn't just me out being naughty. <laughs> Thank you.
we have our malted milks and we're going to pop these on top was that nice yeah these are done lovely you're definitely done <laughs> pop those in the fridge daddy daddy's coming oh uh-oh. Uh-oh, indeed. <laughs> Can Daddy try some? Right, let's take that off you now. Let's get some wipes, shall we? Should we share some more? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that yummy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, it is the evening. I have just taken off my makeup. And as the day's gone on today, I've developed. I don't think you can see it. I've developed a cold sore, <laughs> so that's fun. I have just found these in my bathroom cabinet. I basically get Mark to get me these every time he goes to America. They're pretty much the only thing that actually get rid of my cold sores. Um, so yeah, can't get them in the UK, I don't think. I've never seen them here, or a gel cold sore. I'm gonna have to pop a little bit of this on. I've taken off my makeup, I'm chilling. I've actually come up here because Alfie's making dinner and I'm gonna carry on watching The Circle. And it made me think, are you a TV in the bedroom person? Or do you have no TV in the bedroom? Because I feel like half the people I know have a TV and half don't. I'd say probably actually more people don't. Yeah, maybe more people I know don't, but they'll watch things on their laptop or their iPads. So they don't have a TV, but they still watch stuff. It's just not on a TV, it's on something else. So are you a TV in the bedroom? Are you a screen in the bedroom? So that's like anything that's not a TV. Or do you have nothing and you go up to bed with just your phone and a book and nothing else? Like no laptop, no iPad, no TV, no nothing. I'd love to know because I thought I was in the majority. I thought more people had TVs in their bedroom, but I'm actually starting to think these days whether I might be in the minority. I think more people don't, but they'll like watch something on their laptop. I just don't like having a laptop on my lap. Like I like the fact that the TV's on the wall and it feels doesn't feel as like in my bed do you know what I mean <laughs> like I like that it's on the wall and when it's off it doesn't feel like there's a screen in the room whereas I think if I watch stuff on my laptop or an iPad it would feel very like close I don't know I like that it's far away I think that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog there. Very important question to end the video on. But I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye!